I want to do a follow-up video on how I clean my chains. Um, I got a lot of people asking me or telling me that I should have showed a before and after picture of the chains. So that's what this video is for. Here I got this chain right here that I'm fixing to clean up for y'all. Um, what I do is I'll take a scrubby pad and I will um, fold it up, put the chain in the scrubby pad, I'm putting this block of wood on top of the scrubby pad, and then using this clamp to uh, hold the block of wood in place and this is easier for me I got it too tight so I got to loosen it up some this is easier for me than stepping on the chain I can sit here and um, run this thing back and forth in the scrubby pad and you want to do it several times until you feel it's it's cleaner now this particular chain I will not use because there's a lot of open links on it and I would have to go through 72 inches of chain and close all these links in a pinch I would do that but I don't need to do that. So, again, uh, sit here and rub the chain back and forth through the scrubby pad. It's best to pull it in the fold of the scrubby pad. That way, more of the fibers of the scrubby pad uh, get onto the chain. Let's see what we've done so far. This chain is extremely dirty, but you could start to see to where it's making it shiny. And I could rub this thing through that scrubby pad a lot to make it even more shinier. Now this chain here, I just got through doing, and it's the same chain as this one. They both went through my ultrasonic cleaner. This is what it looked like after it got out of the ultrasonic cleaner, but this is what it looks like after I got through rubbing it through the scrubby pad, through the method that I'm showing you. So it does make a difference and uh, um, running through the scrubby pad and like I said you could start to see the difference of what I went through the scrubby pad versus what didn't go through the scrubby pad I will do it a few more times just so you can uh, see the difference Making sure this thing is uh, being videoed. I'm going to fold that scrubby pad a little bit more. The block of wood is only to keep the scrubby pad in place.
and like I said, when you're done doing this, you want to inspect each chain link to make sure that you did not separate any of them as you were um, cleaning up the chain. And you also want to apply a small layer of oil of some sort when you're done cleaning up your chain. I use the same rag that has Old English oil to wipe down my chains. Uh, because the chains got rust on them, if you don't apply some sort of oil, uh, the rust is going to continue, even after you cleaned it up, the rust uh, might continue uh, going through the chain. And that's why you want to apply a small layer of oil. Uh, apply a layer of oil and then wipe it off with a paper towel. If you got too much oil on the chain, because the chain come out of the case of the clock, uh, they're going to pick up dust, cat hair, dog hair, dirt, and it's going to bring it inside your clock, and you don't want that. So make sure you uh, uh, just use a light coat of oil on your chains. My chain got stuck on my Velcro strap on my computer. And there you can start to see the difference of me running that chain through the scrubby pad. I hope this helps. God bless. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.